douchebag. That's the owner. That's the owner. That's it. He's mad. All right. Well, understandably, guys, he's mad. Of course, he's gonna be mad. I come out on that. You're going in the water. Hey, bro. I feel bad for you too, bro. Listen, I don't take pleasure seeing this. Well, you must. No, I don't, bro. It sucks. I know it sucks. I know you're pissed. You take a picture, you're gonna go swimming. Well, like I said, that's the owner. I'd be under, I'd be pissed too. Pelican man. Oh shit. Oh He's still alive. man. My goodness gracious. Oh my goodness. So here's what's gonna happen. I'll tell you, this is exactly what's gonna happen. He, he the, the the owner of the boat is understandably really upset. But you know what? I, I respect the situation and I understand what's going on. So I won't put this video up, and if you're seeing this video, it's because I spoke to him privately and said, hey listen. You know, it's a bad situation that happened. I understand you're upset, but I think it's, it's, it's useful information. Maybe we can find out exactly what happened so this doesn't happen to someone else. Um, I don't take any pleasure in this, guys. But the reality is, is what I've showed you guys. 50 people have already put this up. I haven't even put this on my socials. Why? Because I don't, like I said, I don't want to be that guy that he sees on my channel Hey, you know, the, uh, the, my, my boat is sunk and I just saw it on social media on, on the chit show, so. It sucks. I'm very interested to see the recovery. I, I really wanna see how, how they're gonna bring, bring, uh, bring this up because first of all, we'll both, all of us will learn exactly what can be done. Um, God forbid we have a, a circumstance similar to this in the future, you know. Obviously, you want to leave this stuff to professionals, but uh, sometimes you don't have that option.
Looks like uh, they're bringing out a big old bag. So here's what they do. And, and guys, um, I, I had to do a similar salvage of, 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 of Sun Clorado. I, I talked about it on my channel. I had a motor fall off while I was on a rib boat. It fell off 100 feet of water and we had to go ahead and use these similar types of bags. They're, they're basically air bags that they're gonna inflate now to go ahead and you know, the buoyancy of the bag is gonna lift up the boat. And then they're gonna pump out the water, uh, and then we'll see what happens now when it comes to the dock. But, uh,
Oh, there he is. He's going down. Um, he might not even have to go into the water. That You see that air tank right there? He's going to use that to inflate the bag. And um, it's, it's curious if he has to he's, if he has to dive in there. Maybe tie it to the to the other cleat on the bottom of the side that's underwater. And uh, and then once he fills it, that'll bring the boat up. Still very very busy over here at Black Point, guys. If you look here, um, let me see the timing. Let me see the time. So right now we're, we're, we're shooting this video right now. It's 10 a.m. 10 in the morning. This is what's going on over here at Black Point. You got a lot of people here. There's the pump, he's bringing out the pump. So when he raises it, he's gonna start pumping out the water. So it's, it's, it's getting closer. It's not fully high tide yet, guys, but it, it's getting up there. So you'll definitely see the tides uh, going a little higher. So he just turned on the pump. You hear the pump over here.
right, so it looks like he just went to prime the uh, the actual pump. So he he put basically the feed inside the water, let the pump actually prime. So now when he uses the bag and he actually gets the boat upright, the, the, the pump is already primed and all he has to do is stick it in there and start pumping water out, get it enough so the boat can float by itself and then pull it to the dock. And, and then once it's at the dock, it's just gonna drain out completely. There he goes, he's connecting, he's connecting the, the airbag. I see, I see him connecting the airbag. So now he's gonna open up that valve and that airbag is gonna inflate. Once that airbag inflates, um, he, I'm assuming he would have to tie it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just as curious as you guys to see this procedure. So I would think he would have to jump in the water. Um, cue the crack music. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no, this is horrible. Oh my Lord have mercy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, look at that poor pelican, man. Oh, shit. Oh, He's still alive. man. It sounds like he's exp explaining the process over there. I can't hear everything too well. There's, there's somebody working over there at, at Suntex. But uh, he's explaining the, the process of what's happening. He says it's going to roll a little bit. Um, Maybe they're waiting on somebody that's going to go in the water. Maybe this guy does set stuff, everything, and he doesn't go in the water, and he has some diver come in and hook it up. Um, <laughs> I, I still, you know, I could imagine being under there. And guys, there's a, there's a big American crocodile that hangs out here. So, so there he goes. There's some dive fins. It looks like this gentleman's gonna go hit the water. So, What's going on guys? Mo flow over here passing through Black Point. These people just making everybody's job harder. About to go in and he's in all right guys let's see let's see what happens now
Okay, so it looks like they're untying the boat completely from the from the other boat, which has been holding it up. Hey guys, it's in incredible footage. I, I know it sucks, it really does. I really feel really bad now after this owner of this boat came out here. Cause you know, it's, 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 this is the worst nightmare somebody can have if you're a boater. Um, but yeah, I mean, I try to do what I can to, 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 to help. I, I don't know, I don't know how I can help it. It sucks. And like I said, if you're seeing this video, it's because he says, hey, listen, go ahead, throw it up. All right, so he's starting to pull up the divers in the, in, in the bottom. Oh, he just came up. So it looks like he's, he's ready to, to start tying it. Looks like he's he's on the water tying, making sure that airbag is is ready to go. You see how he's in the water? All right, the bag is going in. The bag is going in, guys. So there, I just asked some of the guys to sit on the other side, put some weight on the other side of the boat. All right, so the line is in, the bag is in. Uh, you see that he's gonna fill up that that now. See that there? And that's the line that he's gonna use to fill that orange orange line, and you're gonna hear the whistling of the of the water uh, of the air going in there that's a rope the blue is a rope 
that he's tying probably to the bag to a cleat or something so that when he lifts it up it just kind of gets the butt upright it's going to kind of go to the left right this is what he's saying from what i've overheard Cito's doing a good job, man. Really, really good job. We're gonna get some noise pollution now. There it is guys, there it is, it's coming up, it's filling it up, oh man look at that dude, that's nuts. So he's filling it up right now with the airbag, the airbag is, is completely getting full and that's why you're seeing the boat come up right man we have a lot of background noise right now oh my goodness it's a 300 Verado bro wow that sucks well there it is there it is my friends Okay. So you see the airbag is already lifting everything. Now is when he starts using the pump to start pumping all the water out. Oh, I see what he did. Oh man, the audio, dude, this boat right here is, is here. Oh, it's two of them. Oh no, it's two of them. I thought it was a single. It's twins, bro. Wow. That is... That is horrific, bro. Damn it. Alright, well, I think right now we got this boat about to launch. So we should have this noise out of here for a minute. Because, uh, you know, that's how life is, right? see what captain does here now so the, okay so the diver is still putting some stuff on 
on the back here. Maybe they're going to use something else to refloat. Or maybe another, yeah, another line. Yep, there it is, another one. Here's the other um, bag he's going to put on right there. This is the, the actual boat that was, uh, that you were hearing. What a process, man. Um, now, if you guys want to know what to do, if this were to ever happen to you, when, when, we, when we got the Sun Clarado, in this case, he's right next to the dock, right? So if he had made or has made calls to his mechanic or the piece who works on his engines, they're going to immediately completely flush everything, get all the water out of the engine, you know, take off the spark plugs. And we did that in the, in the very first day when we did the Sun Clarado. Um, we had to do that. We, we were in Riviera Beach when that happened. So we had to wait a little while before we even got to that. So in this case, the damage won't be as bad. So there's a possibility. Um, and guys, you can get that motor running. I, I, I proved it. I proved it with the Sun Clarado series that I did. And the other one was under, um, it was 11 days underwater. This was probably a whole day underwater. If, if somebody that knows, and, and there's a good possibility that those computers are not messed up. Hello. Yeah, yeah, they're floating it up right now. Uh, well, this morning, I got here early and it was, it was here. Yeah. So yeah, th there's uh, it can be salvaged, and I'll tell you right now, in my case, in my case, when I did the Sun Clarado, I didn't have a, an option when it came to to the computer. The computer, when I opened it up, it was completely drenched with water. Now, those things are sealed pretty good. There's a good probability that that thing is not messed up. Um, so, and, and this leads to fresh water. So there's a possibility the, the water is a little brackish too. It's not full fledged salt water, but he has to work on this like fast. Like he has to get somebody to literally drain everything right away uh we've put Mar Mar marvel mystery oil when we did our you know marvel mystery oil to get everything going got a the starter once we had the starter we went ahead and started cranking over the starter so all that water that was in the system got got out and eventually we took the engine apart and we rebuilt it up um but i did that because i wanted to i wanted to give that engine away you know so, and I wanted to make sure it was perfect. But I, I've heard stories, you know, being in the similar process, people have told me, hey man, you know, do this, this, this and that, and fired it up. Some people right now will say, hey look, take those engines, don't even do anything to them, take them off real quick and dunk them in a, in a giant tank of fresh water. Let the fresh water soak them up. And, uh, and then, you know, do the whole pickling. It's when, it's when it gets oxygen, that's when the damage starts happening. And believe it or not, um, you don't even have to believe it or not, it's, uh, it's been proven. Those engines are made very well and uh, have a lot of uh, anti-corrosive things that allow it not to get messed up. So, Mercury makes a good product. Still back to the diver, still back there. 
Make it a little tighter so you guys can see what's going on. Oh look, it's actually it's actually floating. It's it's upright already. So so that's good. He got it, he got it up. So now now they start pumping. Start pumping. Let's go see. Um Diver did a great job, man. He did a really good job. Well, I mean, the captain is also doing a good job. Also, okay. So, so he says he wants to put the, he's putting like a, a rug or something on there because he doesn't want, he wants to put the actual engine inside the boat, but he doesn't want to scratch or mess up the inside of the boat. That's kind of cool, bro. So he's he's minimizing any type of any type of extra damage, which is kind of cool. So he's putting that rug on there so you could just put the engine in there and just start letting it pop all that water out. Look, look, you see how he's carrying it in? Yeah, the pump is is already in and now he now he begins now he's gonna begin to oh I see what he did okay so he put the he put he put the pump on on the new boat which is I think the Freedom Boat Club boat uh, pump is on that's what it is he didn't want to scratch the other one I thought he was gonna maybe put it somewhere inside the other boat which makes no sense but after the fact, you know. Edit, 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 edit. Um. Water started to pump out. See now what he's doing is just basically getting all the water from inside and, and I, I, I don't know if you can tell, I'm going to try to see, but oh look, 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 there you go, it moved, there you go, there's the water baby, get out of here, get off my loan, get that water out of there baby, look how it's starting to float up already, survival baby, alright, there you go.
The hard part's done, guys. The hard part is done. Um, Some things are starting to float out that were inside the boat. But uh, they'll, they'll get that now, all the other boaters. It's starting to come up. It's a lot of water, man. Captain's right now on the on the on the back of the boat, just trying to, I guess maybe put a little bit more air inside of those bags. It looks like that's what's going on. Bossman, can you get that degreaser bottle out of the water? Can you? Guess not. All right, so it looks like uh, Captain is adjusting the uh, the airbag. Boat is starting to get refloated. He's already inside of it. Oh, there he goes. He came back. He's coming back to get it. All right, there we go. Captain over here waving. Captain's doing a good job. Hey guys, look man, if if you guys see debris in the water, wherever it is, even if you're deep fishing, man, you know what? Get it out of the water. So come on, kid, let's go. We got you. We got you. Oh, ah, he almost. Oh, come on, kid. Come on, kid. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go, baby. Keep our waters clean, man. It's important. Um, it's, it's a lengthy process guys, think about it, it's, it's a lot of water, that whole thing is full of water and in the back of the boat is where you're seeing all that water being drained out from. Slow down, dude, slow down, slow down! Man, what's wrong with these people, bro? It's coming. 
coming up. Wow, it's reflating up quick, guys. It's coming up, baby, it's coming up. Let me tell you, it didn't even wobble, they didn't even have any problem. Good job, man. I'm getting shot killed real quick. Little Grady. Big boy Grady. The whole process, dude. Um, I think it looks like uh, more of the team is starting to come over here too. Um, I don't know now. I'm assuming Captain will tie it to the bow of the boat, maybe on the side of the boat, and pull it to the dock. Cus customer comes with his trailer, backs in, and then the remaining of the water will just flush out. Um, Wow, I haven't even filmed anything at the ramps, guys. There's a lot of stuff going on in the ramps, but you know what? I want you guys to see this whole process. Um, and, and I do expect to be pushed in right here, you know? Um, and if I do, I understand. I'm not gonna, I won't hit on the guy. It's not like I'm gonna be like, whatever. I get it, bro, I get it, I really do. I'd be hot too if somebody's filming me while my boat just went underwater, you know? Think about it, right now, this guy's gonna be on a mission now we're close to summer things are crazy in some cases it's a blessing to be honest with you you know sometimes you say well you know what it is what it is i've been wanting a new boat i've been wanting to change my boat i've been you know want to repower whatever whatever his intentions are i'll try to find out after he pushes after he pushes me in the water and beats me up maybe i can find out what uh he's going to do after the fact i definitely have to wait you know i have to wait till he just chills um so yeah he's definitely got him to be oh boy
coming up. What was that? No, typically, you like he probably came in last night, tied it up to the other boat, and there was probably a, a battery failure and the bilge pump, you know, it's getting a little bit of water and then the bilge pump failed and you come in the morning and it's like that. Which is a nightmare, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It gets wild, man. This is... He, he, he's upset. The owner's really upset. Yeah, I got somebody here talking to me in the back. He's watching. He says he watches the chicho. Um, Those engines are all, almost out complete. Well, they're, the engines are out completely. The engines are out completely. Boat is almost, almost completely up. Remember, he still has the bags that are holding and it's tied up to the other boat, I think, at, at some point. It's still some, something's holding the other side. Here's, here's the next thing, right? This guy probably doesn't even have a trailer, bro. This this boat lives over here in uh, in the marina. So so in most cases they don't even have a trailer. So he's probably scrambling to find one.
here's what's you know here's what's probably gonna have to happen they're gonna the good thing here's the good thing here's the really good thing that they already refloated the boat they'll take it back he's not gonna have a trailer so they're just gonna take it back to the actual uh, sun tax they'll put it on the forklift I'm assuming this is my assumption uh, or not starting to tilt to the side um, and then they'll start draining it there. They'll make some space over there. And in the back, in the back of Suntax, they, um, they have uh, areas where you can work the engines and stuff like that. So, you know, have somebody come and at least pick all these engines right away. You know, flush them out really, really good. And, uh, it's leaning to one side now. bro bad one Except for some reason it's getting air down there.
still pumping a lot of water, but at least it's not tilting any uh, anymore. So captain is starting to deflate those airbags. The boat has been raised. That's it. So Okay, so, so here's now where I think he's going to do, because I don't see a trailer here. So he's going to tow it to over here to Suntex. I'm going to move the tripod over there. And, uh, and then we can see from a different angle when he pulls it out of here. The, the guy in Spanish said you got you to gotta move the motors or, or push it to the side because it looks like they have to adjust the motors because they're they're turning one way. There it goes. I think that's where he's going to be able to get it. There, there it is. These things are incredible, huh? Like these. It's pretty badass stuff. Well, um, got a got to tell Captain he did a great job. From Cito, Cito did a fantastic job, guys. Here, with this uh, recovery of, uh, they refloated the boat up. There it is. There it is. Now it's interesting to see. Let's see any damage or anything on the bottom. Pretty cool, huh? There's no, nothing visible. The guy in the glasses says there's no hole in the hole, meaning there's no hole inside the hole. There you go, they're gonna, they're gonna take the plug out. I mean, no one's gonna drain for a while. Look at that. It's gonna be like this for a long time. Yep. Oh boy. All right guys, well listen, I want to thank you guys for watching the chit show over here. You guys know what's going on. And uh, well, like I said, they're gonna, they're gonna drain this for a while. It's there for a while. It's gonna be there a long time. That's 
that's exactly what happened. Something got full. My pump failed. It still kept up, kept up, kept up. And uh, it went ahead and... Uh, wow, that's a lot of water. And mind you, they, they reflated the whole thing. This was a captain from Seato uh, guys that did a fantastic job. So, um, our guys, I'll put the link to the Seato team down here in South Florida so you guys can have their contact. Um, we see a lot of the towboat US guys, but all those guys know each other, you know, they're, they're in the same gig. So, I mean, it's, what, what do you do? What do you do in these scenarios, you know? And it's, and it's a lot of water. Look, let me see. Let me see how close I can get. And there's nothing. There's no, like, visible... <sighs> nice boats, too. The captain is explaining the process. Once it comes out of the water, that's when the engine is at risk from corrosion, which is what's going to destroy the engine. So right now, it's out of the water, it's getting air, there's still water inside the actual engine. Once you get that, all that water out, you got to go ahead and flush it real, real good. And then, you know, Marvel Mystery Oil, diesel, you know, you, you mix them together, you put them inside in the oil in the whole system and uh and you you start trying to get all that out and and in an ideal scenario if it's not down for a long time you fire them up you know if you can get them started you flush the whole fuel lines everything you fire them up if you if you're able to fire them up just keep them on get all that moisture out and then change the oil several times um some people have luck with that we'll try to follow up with this whole scenario uh, obviously the electrical within the boat is going to be shot so um but you can start the engines without you know you use a shunt tool there's many options that you can use to to get it going look at that water is still there i'm just keeping this on here guys because i want you guys to see how much water is still coming out of this thing and i'll tell you Watch the Sung Verado series. It's a very cool series that I did on something similar. We had a, we had that engine fall. Um, we were running the, the boat hard, and the engine fell off. And uh, it was a nightmare. But I fixed. I fixed the engine, and I knew what it takes now. Now I know what it takes. You know, before I didn't know what it took. So, and it's the same engine. It's a 300 Verado. He's got twin 300s on this one. The boat that I was on only lost one, but it had also twins.
This thing is going to be here for days. still throwing but I guess they're gonna start hosing it down with the hose and it's, it's still dumping All right, guys. Well, listen, that's it. Um, I want to thank you guys. I'll try to keep you guys informed what's going on. I want to thank you guys for watching the chit show over here at Blackpool Marina. Making a scene as always. I feel bad for these guys, and uh, hopefully they can get this boat back on the water. I'm out of here. Boom! Today's show was brought to you by the following sponsors. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And always remember, amazingness. That's what we do.